we're now going to classify linear equations and equations in general. And we're going to talk about the three different classes of linear equations. How would you group them together? What do they have in common? What do they have different? And how can we tell them apart? So we're going to go over the definitions first. A conditional equation is an equation that has a finite number of solutions. Specifically, if we're talking about linear equations, then we're talking about equations with only one solution. Everything that we showed in the last video was a conditional equation because they each had one solution. Now we also have contradiction, and a contradiction has no solution. It means that no matter what you do, there's no value that makes both sides of the equation true. And our last one is an identity. An identity equation is something that has all real numbers as a solution. Meaning no matter what you plug in, it's always true. So this is sometimes true for a conditional. This is never true for a contradiction. And this is always true for an identity. So let's look at some equations. Let's suppose we start with the 3 times the quantity x plus 3 minus 6x equals 5 times the quantity x plus 1 minus 8x. So here's our equation. What we want to know is classify it. Is it a conditional, is it a contradiction, or is it an identity? And so we'll do this the same way we try and solve anything. Let's get the x's by themselves, so let's get rid of these parentheses. We get 3x plus 9 minus 6x equals 5x plus 5 minus 8x. Now we combine like terms, and we get minus 3x plus 9 equals minus 3x plus 5. Okay, our goal now is to try and get all the x's on one side, so we're going to move the smaller of the two. So we'll add 3x to both sides. And we're trying to move that to the left, so let's subtract 9. And we end up with minus 3x plus 3x is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. Minus 3x plus 3x is 0. 5 minus 9 is minus 4. And if you notice, our x's went away. There's not an x left means we have the same amount of x's on both sides. If we have the same amount of x's on both side, sides, it cannot be a conditional. You have to have a x left over to have a condition. Since it cannot be a conditional, that means it's either a contradiction or an identity. And to find out, we just look at our numbers. Do I have the same thing on both sides? Does 0 equal minus 4? No. 0 does not equal minus 4. Therefore, this is a contradiction. And if you had to list the solution set, we'd put a 0 with a line through it. Make sure, however, that when you do this, you don't put this inside the set braces for a solution. It's specifically outside the solutions. And we can move from there. So that's how we identify a contradiction is that we end up with something that cannot be true. 0 cannot equal minus 4 no matter what x is. And you'll notice if you look carefully, we could have spotted that right here. As soon as we saw the same thing on both sides, then we can say, oh, 9 doesn't equal 5, and we could have stopped a step earlier. But this is where the definition comes in. It's just a matter of how early do you see it. It will determine how quickly you stop and say this is a contradiction. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have minus 4 times x minus 2 plus 3 
times 4x plus 2 equals 2 times 4x plus 7. Okay, same, and again, we're being asked to classify this equation. So we do the same thing. We distribute through all three sets of parentheses, minus 4x plus 8 plus 3x, nope, nope, make sure we do this right, 3 times 4x is 12x, plus 6 equals 8x plus 14. We combine like terms on the left side, 12x minus 4x is 8x, 8 plus 6 is 14. And if you, remember, if you remember what I mentioned just a second ago, you can actually see what type of equation this is already. But we're going to try and move the x's, and as soon as we do that, we know we've got to move the 14 on the left over to the right. 8x minus 8x is 0. 14 minus 14 is 0. 8x minus 8x is 0. 14 minus 14 is 0. And we end up with the equation 0 equals 0. And 0 always, 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 always equals 0. So if we see 0 equals 0, then we can say that this is an identity and that it has all real numbers as a solution. No matter what you plug in, it will make all of these equations. This one, this one, this one, and this one true. 